Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yes, we're painting again. We've got the acrylics out again. And I just put myself some cadmium yellow on there. I'm um, going to use the same palette of colours, but I'm mainly going to use red and yellow. And probably brown. And I'm uh, going to attempt a bit of a, a sunny scene. Very sunny scene. So I want to make a bit of an orange, some of this yellow. Cad yellow and cadmium red, so it's going to make a cadmium orange, which will be really strong actually. Just bringing it together to see what we like the best. Nothing about that. About that, yeah. I'll start putting this on. I don't mind this page showing through for this painting if it does show through because uh, it's a nice yellowy kind of yellowy browny colour so it doesn't really matter might be interesting to have this done like that you shall see just thinking about where the sun's going to be My uh, colour today, especially the yellow, is quite dry actually. It's quite a dry, uh, dry one. I mean, these paints are a few years old. <laughs> uh, like I said in my previous video, these were the first um, decent paints that I got really, because I was using these cheap ones that you get from the works <laughs> that are not the best when I first started. They're pretty awful, let's be honest. And then I started looking into some more artist level of paints and these ones are artist level. These are the Italian ones. And I got these and uh, and that was when I was shocked that the paints didn't make me any better. <laughs> I was like, well, these are artist quality paints. My paintings should be amazing now. <laughs> I was like, well, something's wrong. Couldn't work it out. I was like, it was definitely not me. <laughs> so I'm grabbing some cadmium yellow now. Have this bit a bit brighter here. I'll let it blend in with this that's there as well. Put in a bit of sunshine, a bit more yellow. Okay, so now I might give that a bit of a dry and then I'll put in my sunshine. So I'm going to use my trusty hairdryer. I'll just give the... Okay, so I've given that a quick uh, hair dry. So I'm going to get some more cadmium yellow. And I can brighten this area a bit more. I 
And I can kind of see where the sun is now, just by not messing around. It's like there, isn't it? So I'm going to get some a little bit of white on my finger and go into a little bit of yellow. So a little bit of a yellowy white finger there and a little more light here. Quite like that. We'll leave it at that. Now, I'll use another brush. I want to get some. I want some dark clouds, but I want them to be sort of a browny, ready kind of colour. Something like that, actually. I want to keep this sort of reddish orange look throughout the painting. I want some cloud shapes over here. can always bring some over here as well. See there's that bit of uh, red in it which really helps. Okay, I think I'll, uh, I'll settle with that. I quite like that. Quite a nice sky, and then what I might do is use this colour, this dark. Let's have a look at it in the water. So we use this as our main water colour, but it's acrylic. <laughs> How can we use it as our watercolour? <laughs> yeah, we could use a bigger brush than this. Get this painted a bit quicker than that. All of this comes all the way down here. bit of a straighter line along there. put some rocks in. I want them to be a lot darker than what I've been doing. So keeping with the same colours. 
what I need to do is just use a bit more of the brown and red for my rocks. So we've got a rock it's right here. It sort of goes bloop like that. Another one, so I'll go, we'll change that one, do it like this. So I haven't actually painted this before in uh, gouache, except uh, I can already tell I'm painting it better this time. <laughs> I had a bit of a uh, issue with when I was using the gouache. I think, because uh, I didn't quite work out what base color I wanted my water, that's where I made the mistake, and where this time, I thought I'll use the dark of the clouds. Cause you've got to imagine like above here, it gets very cloudy and dark, and then that reflects down onto the water. I think when you're, uh, when you're painting, just think about things like that, about whether you have like a light source, which for this one is the sun, but then you have reflected light from above especially when you're doing something like this and where that sun isn't hitting it's going to be reflecting from above so you choose what kind of color you want so yeah we've got a few rocks there and i put a little bit of a highlight on i might just use a bit of red a bit of this red on <laughs> All right, i accidentally picked up some white I didn't want any white on this painting. Never mind. Actually worked out pretty good to be fair. <laughs> Just have a bit of red on that one as well. And I can pick up some yellow. Let's pretend the uh, the sun is heating some of this. I say pretend because it probably wouldn't get much on that. <laughs> You'd probably get mostly uh, just dark, but this is a painting. We can uh, we can change things, make it different. Okay, now. Uh, I want to add a bit of light in some of this water. What I might do is dry this off again. It's getting dry. It's just very shiny. <laughs> I'll just dry it off and then I'll paint the next bit. Okay, so I've given it a bit of a dry. Washing my brush. Wash, 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 and wipe. Okay, uh, and we're off again. Got that little bit of yellow, bit of cadmium yellow. I'll throw it in this uh, orange to start with. You can see that. So if you haven't got cadmium yellow, just use whatever yellow you've got. Even uh, yellow ochre would work. It just changes the whole uh, flavor of it. Well, that's all right, it doesn't matter. Just use the tools that you've got. So we've got a bit of yellow and it's gonna hit some areas like there and 
maybe there's a uh, wave there and it's just getting that A little bit of white in it. Maybe another one sort of there. Well, we need to try and make it like this. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't want it to come off off the line. another one there okay so that gives us a little bit more light and then instead of uh, that strong color We can use a little bit of orange to do the rest and then from the sky. So I might do this bit first. Go a bit duller over here. And there when it's falling over. Fly, flying around. <laughs> Something like that. It's got a nice swell going up there. Isn't that swell? <laughs> One behind it. into the yellow then <laughs> it's probably a good idea because what I'm going to do is sort of pull this out so that it's got, it's got a bit more yellow on it Brightness back in some areas. bit off there. Good idea to use a ruler really because I'm, uh, I'm messing this up. <laughs> yeah. Luckily you can just come back with a colour like this and
Give that a little bit more movement in there. Until it gets a bit more of that light going across, which I quite like. I do like that, Joey. Now I want to start back on the rocks. Oh, red and brown again. We've got a rock here. There's a mass of rock there. Just add the, uh, the highlight on a bit of red, and then on, on this bit, which is in front. Red on the rock there. Uh, so just to uh, combine that, and always add a little bit of yellow in places. Maybe this bit of yellow hitting the rock there. Quite like the uh, yellow hitting the rock now. <laughs> Might do a bit more on that. Back there. And I can start adding some sort of a uh, middle kind of tone. Yeah, maybe there's some splashes and stuff. Some movement in the water.
just getting some uh, areas a little more a shadow like that on the water and something else to think about is uh, cast shadows especially on I mean that rock would probably cast a shadow right across this rock like that it might do <laughs> then again it might not <laughs> but we've done one now and uh, but you something else to think about when you're painting to add light realism because you get shadows on water Actually, it's a bit of a, a weird thought for some reason it is, but you do. Any here? I think this has come up quite nice actually, quite dramatic. Maybe the water gets a bit flatter there. This is what this is now, it's the beach. <laughs> That would have the light hitting there as well. Something like that. I mean, you could take this further and further. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that actually. It's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. I might just get a bit more white in the middle. extend that to some of these bits so yes don't want that white on there it's too far out too far up, man.
So we've got quite a lot of layers of things now. Just to add in bits more colour where I feel like I need a bit more a bit more colour. A bit more pizzazz. But yeah, I've enjoyed doing this. It's been a fun one to do. Nice bright sunrise or is it a sunset <laughs> oh, I don't know but anyway there we go we've got the splashing going on here That would be quite dark underneath. a bit better well, you can keep you can keep going with these you know you can <laughs> could keep painting and painting adding your little bit more detail and a little bit more here and a little bit more there you can really push it might put a little bird flying in there And just to be uh, cool, put a bit of light here in the wing. Okay, I think I will finish there. I mean, I could. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, this white could be a bit more yellow. See, I've looked at it and gone, mm, I like it. I like the brightness of it. But I think it would be better yellow. So, yeah, I prefer that. We have a few little specks of light hitting some of these areas. Where the water's splashing. I could even break the page with this. Have it coming right out there. But anyway, <laughs> you gotta finish somewhere. So I will call this one finished. So thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.